This is the first time that I'm using this foundation and I thought it was really cool that it comes with a little spatula type of applicator on the inside. And I decided to just rub it in with my fingertips and really work it into my skin and make sure that everything looks really smooth and flawless. I was surprised on how well this foundation covered all of my imperfections. It has really good coverage and it felt really light on the skin. I'm taking the lightest shade in the palette and I'm using the little sponge applicator that comes inside of it. And I'm using the lightest shade to highlight my brow bone. And I'm also going to put this on the entire lid, just staying underneath the crease. And also on the lower lid in the tear duct area to highlight and open up my eyes. Next, I'm using the pink shade. And I'm going to apply this with a little brush that comes in the, in the palette and I am going to put this in the crease. Now I'm taking the darkest shade and I'm just going to put that on the outer half of my lids in the crease area. And I'm just going to apply it with a little sponge applicator and I'm just going to keep adding it until I get it to the intensity that I like. And I just want to focus on the outer corner. Once I've reached the intensity that I like, I am going to use the little brush that was in the palette to blend it in and make it look really soft and well blended. Since I'm going for a baby doll look, I'm going to line my upper lids and I'm going to wing, in, wing out the liner quite a bit and make sure that it's nice and thick. And since I have a brand new mascara, I'm going to use the clean spoolie to comb my brows and make sure that there is no product in them and no eyeshadow so that they're nice and dark. And now I'm just going to apply mascara, a couple of coats to the top and bottom lashes. I'm just going to apply the blush with my fingers and blend it in very well and make sure that it's nice and soft, no harsh edges. This is a nice lip balm with a really nice tint. The color came out really nice. You can leave it look like this if you like, but I am going to add some false lashes. And this is a completed look. I think it came out really nice and simple and sweet. And as always, I thank you guys for watching and I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and I will see you in my next video. Bye!